So a lot of people have been asking me recently, Graham, what are you doing with your hair? And my answer to that is, I don't know. But a better question to ask is, why am I doing with my hair? That's a good question. Basically, for those of you that don't know, I was actually in the military for 12 years, specifically the Army National Guard. Join the men and women of the Army National Guard. Call 1-800-GO-GUARD. <laughs> I wasn't really able to do anything with my hair other than, you know, a buzz cut. The same haircut for 12 years of my life. And I got out of the military in um, October of 2018. And at that time I wanted to finally grow my hair out. And that's really been the only goal with this whole, this has just been to grow it out. I have no idea what I wanted to look like, but it, this is, this is what it is, it's just long. If there's anybody out there that can help me figure out what to do with this mop on my head, that would be something that I'd be into. I guess that's part of the trouble. Pretty much every hairstyle that I see done for men's long hair, I'm not really into, or at least I think that that doesn't look like me. This, oddly enough, for as messy as it is, is more what I associate with myself having grown up in uh, sort of the skate park culture. And that's another thing that a lot of people may not know about me is that I was actually an aggressive rollerblader for most of my life. That's pretty cool, I guess. If you don't know what an aggressive rollerblader is, it's just a rollerblader that does stunts. <laughs> this is significantly closer to what my hair looked like before I joined the military. I sort of thought to myself that after I got out of the military that I would grow up my hair and it would probably be the last time that I would have long hair. It was sort of just remembering what I came from before the military and uh, they're good memories. Um, shaggy hair, being a teen, being dumb, doing flips, being bad at making videos. Actually, a decent segue here would be to talk about how I got started into video and filmmaking. And that was from making skate videos, uh, from making videos about aggressive rollerblading. I had taken filming these videos really seriously and wanted to complete a project. I wanted to make full length videos. And for those of you that don't know what a full length video is in the skate video realm, that basically just means a video feature that has an introduction, has full length sections for each featured skater montages and lifestyle stuff and and credits and outro and that's a full length video on average they last somewhere between like 20 and 40 minutes there's some extra long ones out there that are actually even closer to a legitimate feature film but that was sort of what i wanted to do i wanted to make full projects that i would burn onto dvds and then sell them to whoever uh, was a sucker enough to buy a, a, a rollerblading DVD from Idaho. <laughs> but that was a big part of me learning how to use a camera, how to edit things, how to make something cinematic. If you look back at these videos, they are so far from where I am now in regards to my skills. And part of that is one, you know, it's time you get better over the years. But another thing was that I wasn't necessarily looking for a way to educate myself about video and film. I was purely just trying to figure it out myself, shoot things, and if it didn't look good in my opinion, then I would shoot it again or I would edit it differently. I certainly learned a lot in regards to just figuring it out yourself, but I could have gained something from going and getting taught a little bit about camera settings and uh, what what the nature of a good image was. To say that it was pointless would be ridiculous. It was incredibly valuable to me. I still learned a lot, and one of the biggest things that I learned was how to finish something. I want to continue to finish things, and it's funny to me that this conversation about hair led into the military, led into rollerblading, led into film, now leads into this sort of philosophy that I have about doing work, and that is purely finishing. To me, it almost doesn't even matter if it's good or bad, it just matters that it's done. If it sucks, you're done with it. and <laughs> You can move on to the next thing that will hopefully be a little bit better than the last thing you did. And if it's not better, to take the time to figure out and see what was it that made your previous work better than your most recent work, uh, or vice versa. You know, Sometimes we our work improves and we have no idea why. 
We have no clue as to what it was that made it better. I know that was a big part of my experience in getting better at making videos. Um, it wasn't just skate videos that I was making. I was making stupid skits and uh, a bunch of other things. But that all led into the work that I do now and just being somebody who gets things done. And that has been probably the most valuable aspect of what I was learning more than just growing your eye. Growing your eye behind the camera is important as well. It's very important, but it's useless to have a good eye on something if you don't know how to do something. To wrap this whole dang thing up, that's my advice to you is start making something and finish it. Just finish it. It's okay if it's bad. It really is okay if it's bad. Just put it out there, please. Just do it for me. Can you do it for me, please? I really appreciate it. It'd be terrific. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Aloha. I'm really bad at ending videos.